и он DPGF Project – Renaturalization and Sustainable Management of Peatlands in Belarus to Combat Land Degradation, Ensure Conservation of Globally Valuable Biodiversity and Mitigate Climate Change. Belarus is a country with significant amount of peatlands, the most part of which, about 51%, have been affected by the large-scale drainage of the 1960s. The significant part of the drained mires is not used at present. The peatlands are a source of peat fires, land degradation, emissions of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. As a result of drainage, large areas of peatlands require restoration at present days. These include peatlands after peat extraction, degraded peatlands ineffectively used for forestry, degraded peat soils ineffectively used for agriculture, and natural mires with disrupted hydrological regime. Fifteen pilot sites were restored within the UNDPGF project in Belarus. Among them are raised box, fence and transitional mires with a total area of 28,207 hectares. The process of restoration is rather long and requires much work on different restoration stages. At the initial stage, much preparatory work was conducted by scientists who elaborated scientific rationales for restoration of each of the pilot sites. Throughout the whole restoration process, the project experts conducted monitoring of flora and fauna and measured dynamics of carbon dioxide emissions. Engineers conducted design and exploration work, including leveling of the areas. Based on this data, they elaborated design documents for construction of different facilities to regulate the hydrological regime of the pilot sites. The strategy of restoration of the hydrological regime within the project was based on uniform rise of water levels throughout the restored territory to the soil surface via cascade canal closure. For this purpose, various water flow regulating devices were constructed. To name a few, among them are sluices, soil flow around dikes, soil dikes with walls made of pails, rock filled dams, wooden dikes made of bars or boards. In cases when the hydrological regime of peatlands is disturbed by adjacent draining systems designated for agriculture or peat extraction, a special anti-filtration dam is built. Some of the devices were built with heavy machines, like excavators and bulldozers. In the places difficult to access, soil dikes were built with hand labor using local materials, peat, wooden pails made of dead pine trunks. During construction, monitoring field visits were conducted by the project team, engineers and experts. As a result of rewetting, wetland plant associations were restored at the project sites and habitats for globally endangered biodiversity were re-established. In 2009 and 2010, such globally threatened ornithological species as greater spotted eagle, black-tailed godwit, kelu were observed at the restored sites, as well as other rare and typical wetland species. 
Appearance of cranes is indicative of restoration of the Maya ecosystem. As a result of the project, the risk of pit fires was significantly diminished in the country. Before the project, 5 to 15 pit fires were observed at the project sites per year, whereas after wetting, only one pit fire was observed in 2009. Depleted peatlands constitute one of essential sources of carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere. As a result of rewetting, the total reduction of CO2 emissions from the restored peatlands is about 300,000 tons per year. Restoration of degraded peatlands has had positive social economic effect for the local population, as in some areas, peatlands are an important source of income for local people. Rewetting has created more possibilities for fishing and hunting, gathering berries, mainly cranberries and bog bilberries, and mushrooms. It has also improved conditions for reappearance of medicinal plants, as well as created more places for rest. The most significant indicator of the project's success is the fact that in 2010, when in Russia hundreds of hectares were encompassed with pit fires, no pit fires were observed in Belarus.